Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. I know we have a few new subscribers here, so I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Kirsten and I typically post lifestyle and home content right here on my channel. So if that interests you, feel free to subscribe, like this video and stay tuned to the end. It is Friday, I just got out of work, changed into my comfy clothes and I picked up a bunch of packages and I was so excited to open them, so I figured why not just share a little mini haul of the things that I got. First up, we have an Ugg box. <laughs> I have two pairs of Uggs already, but they're super old, like years old, and I couldn't resist the mini Uggs, the ultra minis. Oh my gosh, so cute. Oh, I hope these fit. I got them in a size seven, which is the size that I currently have, but usually I'm between a seven and an eight, like a true seven and a half. But with Uggs, I feel like they stretch so much that you have to kind of go down. So these are going to be my go-to shoe if they fit. I'll try them on with you guys. That's the first one. The second package I got is actually from this store called My Outfit Online. So it's like an online boutique and it is designed in Miami. So if you're a local there, I wonder if they have a store. I'm not sure. Anyway, I picked up a few things. I can't even remember what I got. The first item, ooh, yes. It's this really nice tank top, but it has this beautiful like ribbed detail under the breast cups. And it almost like gives it that corset look. But also I really like the color brown. It's really nice. I believe this was like 30 something dollars. So they're definitely not super cheap, but the quality feels really nice. So yeah, I picked this up in a size medium. We'll see how that fits. And then the other two things are a sweat set. They're sold separately, so you do have to purchase each piece individually, but I thought they were so cute and I really love the color. I'm all about sets these days, whether that be an active wear set, a lounge wear set, a jogger set. So here is the sweater. It's quite big, actually. I like my sweaters big, especially hoodies, but I got it in a medium. The inner lining feels so soft, almost like a fleece material, but very lightweight. And then on the back, it just has this stitching that says my outfit online. I don't necessarily love stitching on my clothes, but it's okay. Very much not noticeable since it's in the back. And then instead of the pants, I got the shorts because spring is approaching and I wanna get ready for spring. So I picked up the shorts. I think this is perfect for like an airport outfit or if you're just hanging around the house. I feel so soft. I can't wait to put this on. And then the last box I have here is from Zara. I cannot wait to get into this. I only got one thing from there, but I really wanted this and it was sold out when I first planned on getting it. So then when I saw that it was back in stock, I think someone had returned it and online it said like there was one item left. So I snagged it. This beautiful denim jumpsuit. I really hope it fits. I got size medium. Zara, you never know with their sizing. So I'm praying that this one fits because like I said, it was really hard to get, but let's try all this stuff on. I went ahead and threw on the top. It's super cute, very stretchy and comfortable so you're gonna get a great fit with this one. I can imagine pairing it with jeans or like leather pants and a blazer. I think it'll go well with any outfit and it's the perfect top for a night out or even if you're just hanging out, keeping it low key, I think this is a really nice option. This comfy set is also a win, you guys. I've never purchased from this brand before but I'm super impressed with the quality of their products. The sweater is definitely very oversized. Like if I were to wear it, like this, it's super big, but I don't mind just like tucking it in or just kind of like ruching it on the waistline. And it just feels so comfortable, which is what I look for in like a lounge set or a sweat set. So I'm definitely gonna be wearing this all spring. I'm so relieved you guys, the denim jumpsuit fits. It looks so good. I just kept it open, but you could also close up the buttons. You could style it in different ways, roll up the sleeves. I just love, love, love how this looks, and I'm so glad that I got it. Here are the Uggs. They actually feel pretty roomy, to my surprise, but they're very cute. I obviously wouldn't wear them with this outfit because that's just a little strange, but I will be getting so much use out of these. Wearing these with high ruched socks just looks so good and leggings. Can't wait to put these babies to use. All right, you guys, since it's a Friday evening, I will probably just order in and hang out for the rest of the night. I'm thinking I might order some Indian. It's speaking to me right now. <laughs> we'll see. I love mutter paneer. 
it's my favorite dish. So I'll probably get my usual with the mango lassi. <laughs> you can't go wrong, honestly. And I'll just find somewhere local and order on Seamless. So I think that's the plan, cozy up with some Netflix. But I do have some plans tomorrow, so I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Hey friends, it is Saturday morning and I completed a workout this morning, so I'm trying to be very productive. I did my hair and I'm like walking out with wet hair, so that's no good. But I'm here with my boyfriend and we are getting ready to go look at an apartment. He is currently apartment searching, not me, but I'm going with him, so I thought I'd take you along anyway and we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get some footage of the place. We'll see. All right, you guys, update. We completely got stood up. That's never happened to me before specifically, but he says it's pretty common because he's looking at a lot of listings on Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. So apparently people just put them up. You communicate and schedule an appointment to view and then they just don't show up. So they were a no-show. That was very disappointing. We're here at a little coffee shop. So we're gonna just have a nice little lunch or just grab some coffee and tea and see where the day takes us. Hey, hey, happy Sunday. I woke up to the most beautiful weather outside. It's sunny, it is warm out, really wild, but it is the most perfect Sunday. I was able to catch an online church service and then I did go to F45 this morning. It was the last workout for my six week challenge. So I'm just feeling super proud of myself. I do my in-body scan in two days, so I won't really know like the results of how much body fat I lost or muscle mass gained. But regardless of the results, I'm just feeling so proud of the discipline, the consistency. I feel like this really started me on a great healthy journey. So I'm just so happy to be in this routine and to have found something that really motivates me and keeps me going. So even though the challenge is over, I am not stopping here. And there's gonna be another challenge in like April. So we're gonna be back to it very soon. But like I said, I'm not stopping the workouts just because the challenge is over. I'm gonna keep it up and I'm looking forward to seeing how my body transforms. I did just go to Trader Joe's because I want to make these coconut lime protein balls. A few days ago, I made these peanut butter energy bites and I'm down to my last one. Let me show you. Here's what they looked like. I just followed a super simple recipe online, but it has peanut butter, oats, chia seeds, mini chocolate chip, shredded coconut, honey and vanilla flavoring. And it was so good. I ate like two of these a day. <laughs> so I wanna make some new ones. Anyway, I thought we could make them together. I've never tried this kind before, but someone from my gym recommended it to me. They make these at home. The best part about it is that you only need five ingredients. You've got your choice of protein powder, this is the new protein powder that I got because I was allergic to whey protein, so I got plant protein instead, and so far, so good. This one is the Orgain protein in the vanilla bean flavor. You need shredded coconut flakes, some cashews, one lime, and pitted dates. So I have all my ingredients here and my measuring cups, and we are ready to start. You also need a food processor, by the way. Um, my Ninja Blender came with this processor bowl, which I'm very excited about. And it comes with the chopping attachment, but also the dough attachment. So this should be able to form the dough balls really easily, I'm assuming, but I'm gonna start by chopping it all first and then I will add the dough attachment. So first off, you need a little less than half a cup of cashews. Okay, just about that much. 
We're gonna also add one half cup of dates. That's just about one, two, three, four, five dates. Then we're gonna do one third cup of the protein powder. And finally, you're gonna zest your lime and put the juice of the entire lime in the processor with all of these dry ingredients. Since we're adding the lime zest into our mixture, I wanna make sure to wash it really well. So I'm just using this fruit and vegetable wash from Trader Joe's and it usually does the trick. It works just like soap, so it's really nice. Now that we have this dough-like consistency, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop these into balls and then we will wrap them in the shredded coconut flakes. Is how those turned out they look super good it made about nine my last one here is a bit tiny but if you wanted more you could always just double the recipe i'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator because they are a bit mushy so i'm gonna refrigerate them for about an hour and then we can go ahead and do a taste test it's a little while later i showered and then i took a little walk to the post office i wanted to return and i got there only to be reminded that the post office is closed on sundays so i clearly didn't get to return that but since i was out i ended up just going to get more groceries because trader joe's just doesn't have everything that you need little things like my oat milk some yogurts that i like they don't sell them there so i always end up having to make two grocery runs i don't know if you all have the same experience but that's what i ended up doing and now i'm here snacking on some rice crackers and hummus i ended up picking up the jalapeno hummus this time around and i'm loving it it's got this nice kick i really love jalapeno everything so i figured i would like it but it's really good i was originally planning on having my little protein balls that i made earlier but i was really craving something savory right now rather than sweet though i do try to have protein after every workout and i didn't have any after this morning's workout because i was saving it for those little bites but we will get to it for sure you guys it's time for my honest review it's definitely like texture wise it's kind of hardened a little bit it's still pretty soft but it feels much more like the consistency that I was expecting so let's go for it mm. you can definitely taste that like key lime flavor it's really good I love any like coconut lime kind of combinations the only thing I will say is that my protein powder is so sweet or it has that like artificial sweetener flavor so it makes this very sweet so I would probably if I do this again do either less dates or less of the protein powder because it's definitely sweeter than I would like it to be now I'm just gonna hang out inside for the rest of the day I think um, I'm going to read a book I feel like Sundays are my days where I I devote to reading a couple of chapters because Sundays are really just relaxing. I'm getting ready for the week ahead, so I really try to devote some time for reading on Sundays. As you all know, I completed that boring book like a week or two ago, so now I am reading this one, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I bought this book so, so long ago, like a year ago at least, and I got halfway through it, and then for some reason I think I just like got distracted and completely stopped reading it. So I only got halfway through and now I've like completely forgotten. I haven't forgotten what it's about, but I've forgotten a lot of the key like information. So I'm starting from the beginning. I'm one chapter in and I want to get a few chapters done today. But I know so many people have read this book and loved it and I loved it when I was reading it. So like I said, I don't know why I stopped, but... We are back to it. This is book number four out of 12 for my reading list this year. Like I said, I'm gonna try to read more than 12, but we'll see how far we get. So yeah, I'm excited. All right, you guys, I ended up reading till chapter seven and the book is just as good as I remember it being. 
but it is now dinner time. So I have some chicken here that I marinated a few hours ago. And I basically just used lemon juice, chicken bouillon, garlic, salt, pepper, chili lime seasoning, and some oregano. And I just pulled out my air fryer, which I haven't used in such a long time because I really haven't been cooking for myself. I've been either getting like sweet green salads or just eating soups lately. And recently I've been snacking a lot. So I'm trying to curb that habit and actually cook for myself. So I'm gonna air fry this chicken and then probably toss together a little salad or some veggies for the side. And that'll be dinner. ready and looking so delicious i cut my chicken into slices because i prefer eating it that way on a salad and then i'm just using this dressing that came as part of a trader joe's salad kit that i never had and i'm gonna toss this over it i think it's just olive oil and vinegar with a bunch of herbs so it should go well i also decided that i'm gonna have a juice shot with my dinner so i picked three different kinds up We've got No Joke Ginger, Mighty Turmeric, and Mighty Sea with Acerola Cherry. I don't know which one I want. These two are both spicy because the ginger one comes with cayenne pepper and the turmeric is obviously that and it also has black pepper. So I think I'm gonna go for the Acerola Cherry one and it also has vitamin C, which I'm looking for. So I'm gonna drink this with my dinner, but let's try it first together and I can give you the review. Oh my God, I can't open it. Wow, you would think after working out that I'd be better at this, but oof, you can pick these up at TJ's by the way. All right, cheers. Okay, it's not sweet at all. It's basically like unsweetened juice is how I can explain it, but it's not bad. And you know what, if it gives me vitamin C, then I will take it. Dinner was so yummy, but I did end up wanting some more protein. So I just mixed two scoops of my protein powder with this oat milk in my cocktail shaker because I didn't want to deal with the blender, but it actually tastes pretty good. I've never had the protein straight up like this. I usually do it in a smoothie with blended fruits and all that, but plain with milk, it's actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. 